When a marriage has difficulties, partners come up with various strategies to restore the spark, such as going on a date night or attending counseling. It took a big scandal for Jada Pinkett Smith and her husband Will to decide to start over. I'm glad I went to the Oscars, even though I almost didn't, Pinkett Smith says. I now refer to it as the holy slap because so many good things happened after it. She is, of course, alluding to the 2022 Academy Awards, where her spouse was nominated for Best Actor, a prize Will Smith eventually won for his performance in the tennis film King Richard, which was about Venus and Serena Williams. Comedian and MC Chris Rock made a joke about actress Jada Pinkett Smith's shorn head, caused by alopecia, when the pair was sat in the front row. Smith appeared to laugh at first, but his wife rolled her eyes in immune. Rising to the stage, Smith gave Rock a face slap in front of a television audience around the world. Don't mention my wife by name, F asterisk 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 asterisk. In the eerily quiet auditorium, Smith rage. Reeling was Pinkett Smith. However, this was the turning point in their marriage. When everything hits the fan, that's when you realize who you really are, she explains. It took that smack for me to realize that I would never leave Will, after all those years of attempting to decide whether or not to leave his side. If it hadn't happened, who knows where our relationship would be now. In actuality, their nearly 30-year marriage was in trouble. While Pinkett Smith, 52, was referred to as Smith's wife during his Oscars outburst, it was later discovered that the couple had split up six years earlier and that they had disclosed everything as early as July 2020 in a podcast Red Table Talk, which Pinkett Smith co-hosted. In it, Pinkett Smith, her husband visibly distraught at her side, talked of their breakup and her subsequent entanglement with August Alsina, a disturbed 19-year-old singer-songwriter. She claims that she tried to assist him. In her new memoir, Worthy, she describes how relationship developed much later and very unexpectedly turned amorous. In the book, Pankett Smith dreams of being a werewolf, tearing her husband to pieces, and devouring him because she is so angry about the negative attention she is receiving and the empathy shown for her former partner. A man posing as Will Smith's former personal assistant claimed, two weeks after our interview, that he witnessed the star having sex in a dressing room with actor Dwayne Martin during their early 1990s role together in The Prince of Bel-Air. Smith has deemed the assertions to be unquestionably false. She declares forcefully, I'm not here to discuss Will's dream. The thing is, Will and I weren't together when I became entangled, but he wasn't prepared for our break to become public. I wanted to tapple the entangly since she had spoken about it. Alcina recorded a song called Entanglements that had the phrase, You left your man just to f asterisk 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 with me, just to pay him back. Since it was my mess, I accepted the blame. According to Pinkett Smith's memoir, her life has been surrounded by a lot of actual and metaphorical gunshots. Being the child of addicts, she became a gun wielding drug dealer while she was in her teens. The autobiography recounts her incredible journey to Hollywood, where she was cast in prominent roles in movies such as Collateral, The Matrix Reloaded, and The Nutty Professor. During an audition for a guest star role in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air in 1994, Pankett Smith met her future spouse for the first time. What's going on? Off-camera, Smith questioned her. She claims that she hardly noticed him. They met again while out shopping in Los Angeles. When her mother see the star in a department store, she recognized her. She questioned, why can't you be with somebody nice like him? However, Pinkett Smith believed Smith to be overly jovial. She says today, yay, I was like, why does this dude find everything so funny? It can be difficult to comprehend other people's happiness when you are carrying a burden from your early years. We're getting together in a central London photo studio. Wearing a big white Tom Ford puffer jacket and Russell tracksuit pants, Pinkett Smith appears extremely pitied. She displays her New Balance sneakers, which her son Jaden designed, to meet with pride. My children have been so supportive, she says, referring to Willow, 23, and Trey, 30, who is from Smith's former marriage to actress Cherie Zompino, as well as Jaden, 25. However, I had to put in a lot of work to become the mother I am. 
She and Will Smith seemed like they had everything when they got married in 1997. Pinkett Smith was courted by him by giving her jewelry and cars after he whisked her away on a private plane to Aspen, Jamaica, and Mexico. Up until recently, she and Smith shared a $42 million property in Calabasas, California. Smith was one of Hollywood's highest paid actors, reputedly earning $40 million for his role in King Richard. Nevertheless, 14 years into their union, Word of finds Pinkett Smith, then 40, preparing to drive off a cliff and end her life. I apologize, sir slash madam, but in our relationship you can no longer be human, she muses in her essay. My friends found that passage difficult to read, she now admits. They now realize that they were by my side while I was thinking, I don't want to just be hurt. This suicide has to be final. It has to look like an accident so the kids aren't traumatized. And Will said, damn, after reading that passage, I say that her three kids had to have been startled to read about her wretched state. They were aware already. I am aware that being honest as a parent has advantages and disadvantages, yet I practice very open parenting. I've always reminded my kids that, despite being their mother, I'm still a human parent. Pinkett Smith tried an incredible range of treatments and pick-me-ups before hitting her lowest point including meditation, solitary camping, goddess gatherings, and even golf. I learned from Tiger Woods, she claims. He's an excellent coach. A spiritual connection can be made through connecting with a ball, rather than only through meditation and uttering on. Although her four-day trip was first horrifying, it was a friend's recommendation of ayahuasca a hallucinogenic drink made from plants that is thought to have medicinal properties that really saved her life. Following her acceptance of the Aya drink from a medicine woman, Pinkett Smith first experienced suicidal thoughts and thought she was in a snake-infested forest. But by the fourth day, she claims to have had an amazing experience. She tells me, and I never felt suicidal and plant therapy dismantles the ego's insignificant worries. I was able to feel the amazing love that unites all people and became the mother I always wanted to be. She experienced ayahuasca together with Will Smith, their kids, and a few others earlier this year. The kids adored it, she reports. Trey is really into it. He's really on a spiritual quest. Prince Harry talked of using psychedelics in his memoir Spare, and he said in an interview that they were fundamental in assisting him in overcoming the traumas of the past. Harry and Meghan's Montecito house is an hour distant from the Smith families. Do they happen to be her friends? No. But that was something I was unaware of. Well done, guys. In fairness, there's no indication Megan has given them a try. Can a psychedelic encounter, however, actually mend a relationship? The subject of Pinkett Smith's selection of men is discerning. She claims to be fond of artists, riffneck bad boys, intellectuals, and in-bed guys. Which category does her spouse belong to? She swoons and says, oh, Will is all of those things. He has everything. It appears that the slap has given things new life. The couple and their kids attended a worthy publicity event in Baltimore two weeks prior to our meeting. Will Smith praised the book and made fun of their marriage, calling it brutal a combination of ugly and lovely. Pinkett Smith is preparing a follow-up already. There will be no awards for figuring out who her co-authors. She laughs, Will and I are going to write a book together called Don't Try This at Home. He's been traveling. I have been traveling. We want to write something in which I present the female perspective and he presents the masculine perspective, and then these universal problems are answered. Even with a family wealth estimated to be over $350 million, Pinkett Smith now lives the life of urban nun. She frequently abstains from buying, drinking, having sex, and watching violent movies. She reads sections from the Bible, Quran, or Bhagavad Gita, or meditates. The best life is simple, she declares. You need less when your interior landscape is simplified. This is a significant shift. Prior to starting her spiritual journey, Worthy comes across as a bit of a stickler for detail. To be honest, my first worries about Pinkett Smith when I heard she was in town had to do with the hotel concierge. President Clinton extended an invitation to the Smiths to stay at the White House for a sumptuous, celebrity-filled millennium celebration in 1991.
He even offered them the old bedroom that Abraham Lincoln once occupied, and Johnny Versus consented to supply new clothes. Pinkett Smith, however, objected to going and griped to her husband about being put in Abraham Lincoln's dusty-ass bedroom. Is it accurate, or was there another reason why she was upset? No, it was simply dusty, she dismisses. It was too much having this new baby. Jaden was one at the time. I believe that will resonate with a lot of ladies. Like Will, a lot of men have this mindset. We have to go out there and seize life. For them to become stories, they require intense experiences. I don't blame him Will enjoys narrating engaging tales. But occasionally, all women want is to be connected. Though Pinkett Smith recently moved out of the Calabasas estate and purchased a house nearby, the pair may be working on their marriage. When I bring it up, her eyes bright. The best part is that I can ask Will if he's comfortable with this couch without having to ask. I have one that has gold studs on it and is made of cream patent leather. To me, that captures the heavy metal side. It is logical. Pinkett Smith experimented with being a rock star 21 years old. Her band Wicked Wisdom even toured with Britney Spears in 2004. Strangely, both women just released autobiographies in which they discuss their difficult relationships with men and their discontentment with fame. I believe that women want to define themselves on their own terms, not just in relation to men, the woman argues, using Britney's and her own stories as examples. Why do you suppose I invested in a woman cave for myself? Every lady ought to have a woman cave. What was the kid's response when she moved? They were aware of my need. Furthermore, they are now adults. They are aware of my location. Even Will has his own set of keys. Wordy is rife with allusions to Hollywood's gilded cage, and this is all on the day when Matthew Perry, the star of Friends, was discovered dead at home. Are fame and fortune really that bad? They're not bad, but we have inflated expectations for what they can accomplish, she claims. Although eating only kale can be terrible, it is also a healthy food. All we have to do is redefine what fame and fortune mean to the soul. Christmas will soon be here. That would have required Pinkett Smith to plan elaborate showbiz parties back in the day. Not in the future. I know how to say no now. We're going to a snowy place, Will, the kids, and some pals. It will be eight. I share the same feeling as many women. What do we have when we take away all the nonsense and it's just us? That is, I believe, universal. She recently revealed to a journalist that her husband's aging and need for care was another factor in her decision to mend their merit. Will Smith is 55. Is he sick? No, I was attempting to be humorous. However, we are both aiding. Furthermore, none of us is leaving, even if a new person were to come along. We have been together for 30 years. We are and always will be a family that has to watch out for one another. Sometimes you have to go through a crisis to realize that. 